Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's short tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a cactus that you better stay away from. Stay tuned. The cactus that you should stay away from is called a Choya, C-H-O-L-L-A. I have encountered one right here in Utah, where I am right now, and I just wanted to share with you what I observed from it. Hi, I want to talk to you a minute about this cactus right here. If you can get a closer look at it, then you can see it's got stem and branches and a lot of fuzzy balls on the end. Those are all spines. Now this cactus, I believe it's called a choya, and I've heard that it's called a jumping choya because if you just brush against it, even lightly, there are little barbs right on the end of these spines and they will hook in your skin, they will hook in your clothes, and it's almost like these balls jump off of the cactus and cling to your clothes. And it is very painful to get the choya away from your clothes because it's so easy when you try to get it out to get more of those spines stuck. So if you see this kind of cactus anywhere, this jumping choya, then avoid it, stay away from it. Well, there you have it, the kind of cactus to stay away from. Not that you shouldn't stay away from them all, but this one in particular. I want to let you know that after I made the video of this, I wound up with two or three cactus spines stuck in me, and one of them was really painful to pull it out, but I got it. If you like this video, give us a good old thumbs up and let me know that you liked it and let the YouTube robots know that you thought it was a good video. Also, leave us a comment in the comment section down below and that will help YouTube understand that this is a good community of people who like to discuss what's going on here. And you also can leave a comment to let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click that bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial here on David's Tutorials.